art fair in Eastern Europe, and it has been for the past couple of years. Um, and earlier this year, it was uh, listed um, on my, in a summary and analysis of the 2014 International Art Fairs um, as one of the uh, uh, one of the leading European such initiatives. Uh, currently we have over a hundred exhibitors coming from 25 countries and uh, we occupy about 6,000 square meters. Uh, we recently did a count and it seems that we have a little over 500 artists represented by our exhibitors. Um, in terms of visitors, we, uh, we over the past years uh, we managed to uh, increase the number of visitors by 20-25%. Uh, last year we closed the four days of the fair with over 24,000 visitors altogether. So this is to put it in, in, uh, in context. The, um, what we predominantly focus on uh, in our content, artistic content, um, is what we refer to when we say that we're a young art fair for young Europe. When we say young Europe, it predominantly means uh, countries of the, uh, of the former communist countries uh, of mostly Eastern Europe. Um, but we also welcome new and inspirative uh, you know, artistic elements coming from other countries including the West. Um, and this is what makes up our 25 represented countries this year. Uh, so this is, uh, this is what we are. Um, and the um, vast majority of our exhibitors are coming from abroad. However, the leading contemporary Hungarian galleries are all represented in the selection. We are presenting for the 3rd E Anonymous project and the project consists in presenting the artwork separate by the name of the artist. So that makes uh, you a viewer or a potential buyer to look and feel connected to the artwork. Not having this idea that I'm buying this artwork because of this artist, because you know he's famous or she's famous, but because you really feel connected to the, to the art piece that you were saying. And also it's important that you give opportunity for young artists, like uh, upcoming artists, to be exhibited together with well-known names. So this is the idea of Anonymous Project. So there is one prize, all the artworks are exhibited. We opened actually a call and we invited artists to apply. And then we selected the 30 best pieces that we think is the 30 best pieces and we exhibited them. So you see the names of the artists, you see the artworks, but you're gonna know who is, uh, which piece belongs to each artist if you buy it.